The decision by the government of Kenya to hire Cuban doctors is being met by opposition from a doctor's union that says the money could be used to employ local physicians instead. President Oru Kenyatta made the deal last year and, and the plan was accelerated after his state visit to Cuba in March. Anyang Nyongo, Kisumu County Governor, joins me by phone from Kisumu City to discuss this issue. Good evening, Governor. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Now, you were one of those who actually has uh, been, you, you accompanied the president uh, on this trip to Cuba, and you, you, you are very much in support of this. Why are the union members of the medical practitioners opposed to the Cuban doctors coming to Kenya? I think they're getting the, the issue wrong. The government has not refused to engage with the doctors on improving the doctors' salaries. The government simply says that we are importing Cuban doctors because we want to learn from them, particularly in their experience regarding family health. Now, you know, we are establishing uh, universal health insurance scheme, and Cuba has had the best universal health insurance scheme in which their doctors play a critical role. Now, this is why we went to Cuba for a learning process, for cooperation, and uh, for the use of Cuban doctors in various areas of medical specialty. Now, uh, Governor Nyongo, there are some of those of the, the members of the medical union who say uh, there are many Kenyans who could do the same jobs or who could be paid a little more in order to work in those hospitals, like perhaps those in Kisumu and elsewhere. What would you say? Well, that, that, that argument has been with us ever since I was in the medical services. I don't think that argument will be helped at all, either by refusing to have Cuban doctors or by them. There's absolutely no relationship between the Cuban doc doctors' uh, project and the, the issue of improving the condition of working of the doctors. That condition of working of the doctors can be discussed as a separate issue. And how did you catch it? I, I, I think the doctors are getting it wrong by increasing the Cuban doctors' team with the fact that the money for improving uh, their, their work condition, the money for paying them, must only come from this money in case the Cuban doctors. I think it's a wrong... Uh, so we know that the government has said that uh, some of these doctors will be deployed to counties uh, such as uh, Kisumu County. Please, uh, can you help us understand how they will benefit your county, for example? One, with every county we get two doctors. Uh, our health minister from every county met and discussed the various specialties in the Cuban doctors are, are, are training. And then the Minister of Health they know the prevalence of diseases around the nation. So various specialists will be deployed to areas where they are most needed. Secondly, within each region, like here in Kisumu, we have what we call a rich region economic block that contains 14 counties with a population of about 14 million. We have decided that we shall share our doctors so that if I have a, a neurosurgeon and an oncology in Kisumu, and uh, somebody in uh, Kericho receives um, an, um, uh, 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 a heart specialist and uh, an internal medicine expert, well, they can have the neurosurgeon and oncologist having here for one month or two months and then be exchange depending on the need of, of our various countries. So that basis of exchanging human doctors within various regions is quite accepted to the Council of Governors who is fully behind the Cuban project. Now, in terms of the numbers, are they necessarily going to alleviate the problems we have, especially in the really far-flung regions of Kenya, whether it is Turukana, Garissa, or even part of the, the Nyanza region? Well, I mean, we have had many doctors in this country for several years we have never completely alleviated this problem. The Cuban doctors are coming here to perform a miracle. The Cuban doctors are going to come here to give us their expertise. And while they are here for two years to learn from them, particularly on the importance of having an effective primary health care system and family medicine as a fundamental part of the universal health care. Without proper primary health care system, preventive health care, 
and family medicine and universal health coverage and other things. And that is where Cuba has excelled in the whole world. I remember when I was in for medical services, I attended a global conference on uh, preventing a primary health care in Cuba. There were 6,000 delegates, and 800 of those delegates were Americans. So even the U.S. knows that there yeah, are some people learn from Cuba. Mm -hmm. Well, Governor, I want to thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, Anyang Nyong'o is yeah. the governor of Kisumu thank County so in Western Kenya. Thank you. Thank you, Governor.